Okay, so in this particular chapter, we'll talk about metadata server. So this is a very important concept to understand. So whenever you store a key value pair in your metadata, both at the project or at an instance level, how do you access those particular values? So you can do that using the metadata server. So one important thing to note is that you can only access these values if you are within that virtual machine, else you cannot. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing we'll go do is we'll go to a VM instance and we will set values both at the instance and at the project level. So let's set it at the project level first. So let's go to our compute engine and let's click on metadata. And you can see that I've got two values. Let's add a few more values. Let's click on edit and let's add one more. So let's say you want a username and let's give it a value of Rohit. Okay, so these are the project level metadata and let's also add a few virtual machine that is the instance level metadata so let's click on our instance one and let's edit this and if you keep going down you'll find something called as a custom metadata so within this custom metadata let's add a few values as well so let's just add a value called name we can also add so this can be any random value and let's store these values as well let's click on save so now how do you access these values now these values can be accessed using the metadata server so one important consideration is that whenever you make a request to get information from the metadata server your request and the subsequent metadata response never leaves the physical host that is running the virtual machine. So this is a very important aspect, especially from a security point of view. So whenever you're calling this particular metadata server URL, it never leaves the physical host that is running the virtual machine. So now let's look at the URL that can be used to access these metadata values. So let's click on query VM metadata. And this is basically the url that you need to know so this particular url url i'll copy in the description below so let's copy this and let's log into our instance so let's ssh into it and let's paste this particular url now here the difference is that if you want to access your project level metadata then instead of instance what you need to give is project so let's type project here and everything else remains the same so it, the root would always be metadata.google.com followed by compute metadata v1 so this part remains the same so if you want to access project level this has to be project if you want to access instance level then this has to be instance so let's run this particular url and you get three values as the output you get the attribute the project id and the numeric project id so let's assume that you have a virtual machine and you want to know the project id of that particular virtual machine that is the project in which the project ID of the project in which the virtual machine resides and you can always use this particular variable. So all that you need to do is you can just copy this and paste that over here and let's run this and you can see that this is the project ID. We can always verify it. So let's go back to a console and let's click on this and you can see that this is the project ID. And the most important thing now is let's get all the attributes that we have stored in our metadata. Now to do that again, let's just change this project ID and all that you need to access is this particular attribute. So let's copy this. And let's paste the attributes. And here you can see that there are three attributes. That is the environmental OS login, the ENV, and the username. So these are all the keys of the key value pairs of all the values that we have in our metadata. So let's go back to our metadata once more. So if you look at the metadata, we have three values. So what we need is basically the username. So let's copy this and let's go to our session again. And all that you need to paste here is the key over here and it should give me the value. So let's click on enter. 
and you can see that I get the value of Rohit. So this is how you can access your project level metadata. So now let's see how we can access the instance level metadata. So let's clear the screen once. And like I said previously, the project has to be changed and it's currently the instance. And let's enter now. And here you can see you get, get a lot of information about that particular instance. So you can not only get the key values that you have stored in your attributes, but you can also get other information like which particular CPU platform, which particular zone your virtual machine exists in, the name of your virtual machine, the machine type, etc. So let's go through them one by one. So let's go through the attributes. So let's click on attributes. And let's paste it over here. And here you can see that the output I get is address and name. So these are the instance level attributes that I had, that I had stored. So let's go back to our instance once. So if you click on the instance, you can see the key value pair is name and address. And that is precisely what you see. And that is precisely what you see over here. So let's get the name as well as the address. So let's just get the name. So here, all that I need to do is just append my attribute with name and here I get the value. So now apart from this, like I said previously, we also get other information. So now let's assume that you want to know the machine type of this particular instance. So let's just copy this. And let's paste this value. And you can see that it's an EC, E2 micro. Now you can get other values as well. For example, the name, the image, the ID, the host name, etc. Okay, so this is a very brief lecture. I will give you a link on this particular URL. So the important thing again to remember is that this is the brief, this is the URL. And if you want project level metadata, this should be project. And if you want an instance level metadata, then you just need to remove the project and add instance here. So that is how you can get both instance as well as metadata level attributes. So this particular URL is very important. So I'll paste this in the description below so you can just check that out. So that's it for this lecture. I will see you in the next.